How long have you been designing clothes? Uh, I've been designing clothes for two, about two years. About two years now. Uh, about 2016, that's when I dropped uh, my first um, tape. It was called Rich Over Fame. It really started, I was just on some frash shit for real. Just doodling on a, uh, it was like a piece of, a, a fucking piece of mail or some shit like that. I literally was just kept drawing that shit, Rich Over Fame, Rich Over Fame. And I sent that shit to my brother Dredd. H and H Z shout out to him. Um, and he was like, "That's hard. Just name that shit the project." So I named it the project, and then that's where it all started from. Well, that's the project with that uh, regular. Nah, I ain't never put regular on shit. Oh, that was just a single. Single. Uh -huh. Shout out X. Yeah. Fact. Yeah, that was just a single. All right, so you've seen uh, recently seen a major breakthrough as far as clothing sales. Do you attribute that to the new designs or just hard work finally paying off? Shit, both, and investing more. Type shit for real. When I first that design lit though. Yeah, I appreciate it. Yeah, I'm make sure y'all go cop too. But nah, um, I mean when I first started for real, like shit, I talk, I ain't no shit. So it was like, I just was going out, getting down there, anything, and just stamping shit on there. I made all my logos and shit. So it was like it was hit or miss if a motherfucker was gonna like it or not. But shit, I really wasn't putting too much. Um, I say money wise, I really wasn't putting enough into it, but. Shit, when I dove back in with the like the, the revamp and everything, I start I start putting more my you know what I mean I start putting more into it. So the more I put into it, you know what I'm saying I can kind of raise the bar on what I need for it. And motherfucker was fucking with the, the design, just the whole you hear me as a whole. So she had to start picking up from there. Your single fortunate finally made it on Cincinnati Radio 101.1 uh, The fortunate Wiz. We, uh, yeah. Uh, fortunate we, uh, How'd that come uh, about? Uh, with the record or how I get on the radio? How I get on the radio? And you know it's hard. Well, uh, shout out to the D. Shout out to DJ Fresh, uh, for sure, for sure, uh, for supporting the record and um, you know spinning it. But uh, really just linking in, networking, man, and um, shit, just doing what I needed to do. I, I know the video out right now. Go check the video out it's on YouTube. Uh, shout out to Street Down from he produced that one. But yeah, fucking with them, um, D for sure and DJ Fresh for sure. What's up with the uh like you putting fortunate on the rich over fame clothes like that's just like a brand some seasonal shit? Nah, I branded just it. that shit like on some like for real. It started with the record. It looked good though. Yeah, yeah, man. Look, it started with the record and shit. I thought that I always told myself like, all right, I'm gonna start like I'm gonna put some fortunate shit out just for just cause I felt like it was gonna be live. But I really held on to it until like I shit I needed it damn near like I guess right. So you better keep pushing that for a while, Fortune? Yeah, yeah, that's the brand. It's still Rich Over Fame, the brand, but the line I'm is saying you're still pushing the single for a while. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. It's a hit. Facts. That's, that's, that's Facts. definitely on Billboard, you know, when it finally catch, you know. But that's definitely. All right, so you work with several of Cincinnati's top artists and videographers. Videographers. Who are some of your favorites and why? Ooh. Uh, Artist-wise, um... You gotta get you your praise, you feel me? Jose Reese, this nigga hard as fuck. True. Um, Staffy, I'm just starting my hood for sure. Staffy, H and A Z. Shout out Triple Double Gotti, L I, of course, Big Bro L I, you know. Um, man, there's too many. Mo Vega, uh, that nigga hard for real. Wait till he, well, when this nigga for real get going, he hard. Um, Damn, man, what was that one song you did when I first came home? The Highway. Uh, Highway, J Mill, shout out to J Mill. We got That's a ready. banger too. We got Ready. Go check that Ready record out. That's doing what it need to do. We need that one to catch too, but that's a, a that's a billboarder. That's gonna hit that's on that that, that that one different. Oh my god, that shit's so hard. Shout out to J Mill for even letting me get on that, that record with him and, and bless that joint. Nah, bless that was that was like perfect yeah, artist place. Yeah, yeah, we you know what I mean? That's the, we got hit. Like he got the right artists, features. man. Shout out Check, shout out um X, you know what I mean? Mama named me Evan, you know what I mean? Oski, man. It's it's a ton of artists that I really fuck with. Matter of fact, so you shouted out Street, so that's what that's your main go-to? Street, shout out, oh, Street Anthems? Yeah. Uh, uh, that's where I record uh, most of my stuff at. He done produced uh, some beats too, but for, I do probably like 90% of my recording with Street Anthems. I can't lie, boy. I record myself, but I ain't never had no complaints out of streets. He yeah, cold. Yeah, he cold. If y'all need to, you feel me? If y'all trying to be like, sound like y'all need to sound like, quit recording in those bullshit studios, man. Facts. Don't pay 
that little couple dollars, man. If you spend the $10 on that session, man, I guarantee you it's a $10 song. So, I, mean, <laughs> I swear, yeah, I'm not gonna go get pay what you weigh, man, period. Truth. You feel me? All right, so. Are there any artists whose grind you respect or try to mimic in some way? If so, who are they? Everybody that I just mentioned, for sure. Um, and shout out my cousin Streets. He kind of was like the major motivation for me to even start the clothing and shit. Shout out Medicated Thoughts, all of that. Check him out. He live. Um, but everybody that I just named. Shout out Scally, too. I think he's super dope. Somebody who should have been took off with them club bangers and shit like that. Um... What artists like outside the city? Like, even it could be major, it could be oh, mid major, yeah. oh, we whoever. Go big. We go major. Then I, right now, who I'm fucking with, I like Young Blue. I think he's super dope. I think um, uh, there's a few artists. I'm so that's just their music or they grind. They grind. I respect his grind. I definitely respect his grind. I ain't really hip to his grind. He, he, I respect this. I'm hip to them investment. You know I mean? them been, investment them yeah, I, I, guess I feel like that's, that's kinda, what you need. I think that's kind of what, yeah, like, you know what I'm saying? I just feel like. Like it's, a fortune in volume just him, one, though, too. Like, uh, of course, Nipsey, he was a major, like, dude, outside of his music, I used to just listen to what he had to say. So he had, um, I, I got a bunch of, you know what I mean, information that he spoke about. But just, uh, man, a bunch of people. Shout out Bigger Rankin. Um, Man. just giving me real feedback and, and giving me game. His whole team, um, it's a bottom rub shoulders with a bunch of people for real. Matter of fact, you bumped shoulders with Bruh twice, didn't you? Yeah. Or multiple bigger ranking, couple, yeah, he's couple super times. Dope. Yeah, and I was on um, one of his mixtapes too. I was on bigger ranking volume like 13 or some shit like that. He put that girlfriend record on there that was super dope. Yup, um, but yeah, hella people for real. I, I'm probably leaving out. All types of shit, but it will come to me. It's cool. What artists have you worked? What artists have you not worked with yet that you would like to? Uh, Breezy. Breezy with Breezy. Chris Brown. Yeah, 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 yeah. Nigga, I'm trying to yeah. get that Breezy feature. I'm trying to get I that Bruno. Drake. I need that Bruno. <laughs> I need that Cardi B feature ASAP. Oh, man, look, I will take a blue face feature right now. Hey. I need all the features, but uh, like Stoner, Stoner said. Hey, I'm bad luck. I need him. I need him, goddamn it. So if you see this motherfucker, you trying to work, goddamn it, hit me up. Yeah. I yeah. need that young blue feature. I want a Bootsy. I want them all, goddamn. I fuck with all of them. I need a so. Kevin Gates feature. Kevin Gates. I'll be talking to the EO shit. I need all the motherfucking features. NBA, all the motherfucking features, dog. All right, so. How difficult, if at all, has it been juggling, running a full-time clothing line, and pursuing a full-time career as a music artist? Shit, it's tough. It's tough. I think um, it's really hard as fuck. I ain't even gonna just say it's tough. <laughs> that was kind of an understatement. Like, man, tell tough. the truth. Yeah, man. I was like, it's tough. Like, we was tough. just talking about shit. I was trying to shit. make that shit sound like, you know what I mean? Like, it's, it's cool. It's, it's cool. cool. I mean, it's tough. You gotta invest your time, your money. It's a lot of headaches that come with it. Cause man. You, look. It's, oh, it's, I'll all I'll eyes got to be dotted. Right, I've so been telling motherfuckers, boy. You ain't boy. mentally ready to really deal with an uphill battle, but really be, you feel me, focused. You got to stay focused because it's easy to get distracted and this shit, boy. It's super duper easy. How tough was it making the transition from working man to full-time entrepreneur? Like, I know sometimes you got to quit and then get back, and then quit, and then get back to the to the grind. Every like, day is a working day, damn near. Like, shit, I be damn near having to tell myself I'm not going to do nothing this day. Going to work, you know what you're going to get. You can kind of already add that shit up. You know it. But when you out here, it's like, nah, I got to really go and get it. You don't know yeah. what today going to bring. Yeah. So it's like, shit. It's, it's worth you. it, though. It's worth it. Oh, oh, oh. Because I've seen it's you. It's more than worth it. I've seen you, you when you first started boy, struggling. Boy, Give boy, me look. them custom Jose I, Reese hoodies. Hey, you hear me? You hear me? This shit. <laughs> now you making sales. My just, you got to stay down. Shit. Stay down. It's still so much shit that I need to do uh, to even make this shit grow even bigger. Because I know I'm, this is a billion dollar company I'm working with right now. Guaranteed. Truth. Billion dollar. Truth. Billion dollar brand, and that's just aside from the billion dollar music. You feel me? That's going on too. So, all right. So, we spoke on a little bit. Like, what's the personal feedback you get from people who've been near enough to see how far you come? It be dope for real, man. It be it be super dope for real. Like for a motherfucker to see you start some shit and stay with it, and then. Get it to a point where you damn near said you was going to have it. And then they see you actually doing it. That's cool. You know what I mean? But I'm trying to take it way farther. 
um, of course, but it, it feel good to, you know what I mean, be recognized and I'm just, I'm trying I'm trying to get this shit back to the motherfucker. So when this shit really jump, everybody who ever believed that it was gonna jump, I'm trying to prove you right. Anybody who never believed it would, I'm definitely gonna prove you wrong. So Truth. What other markets outside of Cincinnati would you like to tap into or and how are you going about doing it? Houston, Los Angeles, um, North Carolina, both Carolinas. I, I fuck with Carolina. Um, really, those mainly New York and New York, New York. Okay. Atlanta too. You ain't fuck with Miami. Yeah, I'm leaving out a lot. I'm, I'm leaving out a lot. But those the ones that be on my mind. I thought about. But about. like, what is you doing about it? Because I know you be in Austin. Yeah, I I done, I, I done been in Austin a couple times, and I didn't been to Florida, but I was in Jacksonville. Uh, when I went to Florida, um, and I've been to Atlanta a few times. I've never been to New York, and I've never been to California at all. Perfect. You perfect. Yeah, I'm you gonna Cali fall in love. Way. You gonna fall in love, so, Cali. Cali, I'll be in Cali. So, so. Yeah. All right. Do you ever plan on making clothes and kids and exercises? If so, when? Yeah, bro. Kids, shit, right there, man. If you, you I got kids and shit, I mean, on soul, I got some hard ass shit. I'm mad as fuck right now, and I've been holding that shit in the whole interview. But my, I'm, I'm knocked out my goddamn computer right fucking now, bro. I'm slow, bro. Y'all gonna see this shit. But I got some kids shit in right now, like from 2T all the way up to the 7, like, so bring them babies out. So what you gonna do? You gonna just take pictures of the kids' clothes, or you gonna have kids model? model? Both. You gonna see both? I give it you. This time together. You already know. So, yeah, yeah. My kids you. gonna be the first model. I like it to do a speak on. So, um, yeah, for sure. I definitely got kids shit. And I got shit for the women. So, when you gonna come out with and your camera? Alright. Sure sure. How close or far away are you from having your clothes on racks and stores in the Cincinnati area and beyond? Close? I mean, I could have already had it in some stores, uh, but it's shit that I need to do on my end before I really start doing it. You know what I mean? On that, you know, big steal like that. Really. But I done had a couple of opportunities to already be in stores. So, yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, so you put a small amount of leg work into promoting the singles girlfriend and won't let you down. Can we be expecting you to drop visuals to either of those singles anytime soon? Yeah, for sure, girlfriend, for sure, and I won't let you down. I got a bunch of other shit too. Girlfriend, that, that's my shit. That girlfriend is so hard. Uh, and that all by myself. Uh, that too, that's all. I mean, I be, I, I be bullshitting for years. Nah, you bro, just focus on your like, clothes. You, know, you gotta do a whole lot of different shit, and it's like now. I mean, I know now. You got you gotta have your check. You gotta have some money to do a lot of certain shit that, that you gotta get done. So I mean, I've been branding. I've been doing a lot of you know what I mean shit dealing with my clothes, dealing with the brand. So my my hat be on that for the most part. But the music ain't never stopped. It's just when I put it out, I want to make sure it's really out to the mass and it's gonna be heard and it's gonna reach everybody. For sure. Yeah. All right, so. We know you've been busy running your clothing line, but when can we expect another project release from you? Man, I have I was supposed to drop at the beginning. Fuck what you was doing. When yeah. is we gonna see another I project? Gonna, I ain't gonna give y'all, I can't give you a date. I've been recording though. Give me a I've quarter. A what about a quarter? Fourth quarter at the latest. Oh, this year? Yep. Yeah. At the latest. I, I, I could have barely dropped stuff. I got enough music right now, I can put something out. But now I'm just like, I want to record some more music and really just have the best music that I feel like is on this project. But that fourth quarter, I know I have something. Okay. Do you feel any pressure to leave Cincinnati to continue your business ventures? Yes. If so, like, why? Why? Why you feel like yes. that? I, 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 I want to move to North Carolina, oddly. I've been thinking about North Carolina for some reason. But just Cincinnati, just where we at. Like, it, it's statistically, for black folks, is not the best place to stay at. Like, you know what I'm saying? And the the market that I'm in is like, it's bigger markets out there. It's bigger bags to be got. It's more people to meet. It's it's so much more. And we uh, we just in this much, like, of the market. It's so much shit going on to where, like, I want to be around that. The shit that's really popping, like. Right. But I love my home, though, so. All right, when can when can fans expect or a uh, uh, when can fans expect the Yas Child Rich Over Fame hosted event? That can be real soon too. 
possibly within the next month or two or something like that. I had some opportunities to get some nights and host some events that I haven't took advantage of. What was over the thing you had at Roseland Live? That one, your event, that that modeling thing? No, 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 no. I was actually blessed to be a part of that event. I was invited to it. Somebody reached out and um, told me they wanted the brand to be in it. They thought that they it deserved to be in it. So. That was super dope to do it. That was my first fashion show to do. But we're going to put together more. And I, those will be something I will be hosting. And we'll be putting together. You should do that next time you do like a bulk inventory of mad shit. Host your own fashion show. For sure. For That'll sure. be live. Yeah. That'll be live. Yeah, yeah, for you sure. You know I had a model. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. So I'm going to get with you on that for sure. All right. So you made a few videos showcasing your personality. You know what I'm saying? You're stepping in front of the camera, doing more acting and aspiration of yours? For sure, yeah, yeah. I'm trying to get into some that, that movie money, that commercial money. That what type of movie, though? Because everybody say movie, but then they go straight paper soldiers. Nah, nah, nah. I'll I, 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 I take them. Um, <laughs> like, <laughs> there it is, bro. Hey, did you see I got this cup, too? Look, man, they, I heard it was shit bomb. <gasps> Shout out to Pete. But that's I'm, my guy. I'm going to watch I'm him when I get the chance. Pete, I watched it because of you, Pete. Y'all niggas know y'all was wrong for that shit. <laughs> yeah, tell me. It was that bad. Bro. I ain't gonna lie to y'all. Shout out DC, shout out Fat Boy, cause he gave niggas opportunity. I ain't gonna lie, he had a lot of people in the movie. Um, I'm probably going off without uh, go back, but he had a lot of people in the movie. It was super dope. Shout out to them guys for him just giving them opportunities. Just hilarious. She had some scenes in there that was funny. To me personally, her scenes was probably the best, cause they ain't seen forced. Everybody said the shit, same she shit. She just seemed like she was actually in the movie. But, man, P, 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 you, you owe us one for this P. I ain't even gonna be feeling you owe us one. I went to, I saw the shit, but I ain't, I, nigga ain't saying he want his money back. I'm just saying you owe us one. I, you owe us one. Give us, you feel me? You owe us one. Oh, oh God. You owe them? Hell yeah, you owe them. <laughs> Fat boy, y'all know you owe them too, because y'all been promoting this shit. So, y'all know you owe them. All right. <laughs> but so, yeah, I'm definitely trying to be in movies. I take on action. Action roles. I'm, I'm, I like. Pull up on me on my next shit, set. You feel me? I take on all them type roles. You feel me? Get that. Some Mike Laurie shit. Uh, yeah. You know? Jump over car. I, I try. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Tim might get stuck on my car. All right, so what piece do you think is missing, if any, from your Yas Child and Rich Over Fame brands in order to take you to the next level? Um, If any. If any, you ain't gotta say nothing. I know it's shit. It's always shit that can like, be done, man. It's always shit that can be done. Like when you look at yourself, what you feel like you need that you ain't doing to do. Like is your follow up? Cause I know me, my follow up yeah. shitty at times. My Motherfucker follow- be like, call me, and then I just won't call. I get caught up doing other shit. I do that shit too sometimes, but sometimes the other shit be important shit. So it be like you have a lot of important shit to do, and you can only knock out so much of the important shit. And I got kids and shit too. So I got a lot of real important, regular shit that I got to take care of, like regular bills and like regular motherfuckers got to take care of. So shit, um, man, look, I, don't, I, don't, I really don't know. I really can't say. I'm putting everything in position, but as, as just having a stronger team, making sure my team is strong and um, just making sure I'm accessible, the, uh, accessible as possible. Um, that's really much it. I'm gonna keep on pushing up. I know it's an uphill battle at this point, but shit, we're gonna get to the bag all the way. I already know. We're get to that. Alright, last one, bro. Yeah. If given the opportunity to sign a deal, including giving up rights to show money, like 360 deals and everything, that already, would you take it? That already sounds stupid. No. But <laughs> and stupid. Or are, are there any particular labels or imprints that you would prefer? Um Shout out Thinks the Game. I fuck with them. Um, shout out QC. It'll be some some black shit for damn show. Um, I'm trying to stay independent, real talk. But I love to be able to get in the right position. Because I know what I got and what that shit really worth and what motherfuckers gonna do with it. And that's really it. it I, I can't take no, I ain't gonna take no bogus ass uh, deal though. I can't just pause. I ain't about to just be giving up rights to shit that I done created, especially when I know my work and what it's worth. But I let this shit go for a hundred million. Like today, a hundred million. Yeah. A hundred. Yeah. 
Cause somebody with a bigger check gonna turn that hundred million into five hundred. I mean, uh, it, that's just a hundred. That's just a hundred. That's light to some of these. Uh, they got the hundred, and they gonna turn this shit into the billion that I knew it was worth. And now I got a hundred to do something totally different and keep striving for my billion. You Smart. Know, your, set your price and stick with it. Oh yeah, for sure. sure. The price is set strong. That's it, bro. I feel fortunate uh, when we fun. For, for, fortunate when we talk. Yeah, you shout fortunate back. when you call me and you tell me to pull up. Pull up. I feel fortunate how we chill. Yeah. Fortunate that you real. Uh, I'm fortunate that you here. I'm fortunate that you here. I feel so fortunate, baby. If you cannot stay, that's unfortunate, baby. I do not have brakes and you driving me crazy.